and guys to a new episode of our daily episodes. Today I'm going to take you through a very beautiful trip in the Swiss countryside. So as you can see I'm riding my R9T Scrambler BMW. Very nice ride during summertime and springtime. Even though it could be 27 degrees Celsius once you get to mount the mountains 2000 meters above sea level it gets to drop to about minus five minus six Celsius so it gets very cold so you have to carry extra jackets certain equipment with you and be very careful because storms could hit on top of the mountains and then you get struck, stuck and you can't go down bike is mega fun absolutely fun it took me everywhere it's a brand new bike look at these small Swiss houses in the summertime it has lots of beautiful red flowers on the corners People take very good care of their houses and you could find it's like crystal clean. You cannot find any thing whatsoever on the, on the street, on the ground. No dust whatsoever. Everything is clean till like surgical precision. Very nice. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. It helps me grow and keep posting more content. I have about 10 gigabytes of content however I don't have the time as they work and I struggle to find motivation to post some video and just get very few views or very few shares and likes or subscriptions so the ratio between the viewers and the subscribers is like 98 percent viewers who did not subscribe so this might help me a lot resuming our trip to Bernie's Oberland it's the area near Bern where you have the, one of the best mountains in Switzerland, such as the Jungfrau mountain. And then you get to Thun, and then you get to Interlaken, and you get to see the most beautiful villages in the world. Interlaken, and five minutes from there by motorbike, you get to Grindelwald, where you have very beautiful waterfalls like Lauterbrunnen, You've got waterfalls coming out of the mountains, I'll post pictures later on. So this is when I got to on top of uh, Lake Prince near Bernie's Overland. You go up to the mountain, you have to walk and you have to know how to hike. Have sort of shoes where you can walk. Of course if you ask a Swiss person how long is it, they say oh, nothing, it's just a four hour hike. For them it's nothing, but for an average hiker or someone who doesn't do mountain climbing or used to very harsh activities, physical activities, you will struggle. Now we're going through other back roads, the Swiss countryside. And as you can see, their radar is hidden everywhere, so you have to really be very careful, you never over speed. And it's very hard to turn off the camera because you have every single moment of your view is one of the most beautiful views that you've ever seen in your life. Of course tolls in Switzerland are paid annually so you have to buy a sticker card called Vignette and you place it on your bike. It shouldn't really be visible and since 2024 you can purchase it online on your license plate, number plate. So you don't have to stick things on your machine anymore, vehicle, whatever. The benefit in Switzerland also you can have two motorbikes or two cars on the same license plate, number plate. However, you can only ride one at a time and have insurance covering both. You have to pay a bit more premium and have insurance covering both. So that's a great advantage. Look at the twists and turns with a boxer engine with low center of gravity. It's just unbelievable unbelievable uh, handling on this bike really nice also the low-end torque helps a lot you don't have to keep changing gears you just take the corner and the gear where you are if you are till the third it's all right look at this turn like really like formula one uh, circuits even stronger than nurburgring look just stay in the same gear and accelerates out of it this might work very well with the v-twins as well like a ducati or KTM Super Duke, because it's still the same torque, or even higher torque. You don't have to keep switching gears, switching gears. Look at this turn again. 
So just it's, it never fails to to please you if you're going to around this, this the, the countryside. You don't have to go anywhere. Just ride around and just hike and maybe have some nice Swiss food, nice cheese, eat some chocolate, and still have some traditional food. Because you can never drink and drive because it's really dangerous, especially in twisties. Lots of tunnels, fog sometimes, altitude, lots of weather can change dramatically as you Riding these ground up and scrambling things in the vineyards. On the left, you will lots of vineyards. Because they don't want to take you from there. More scenery and unbelievable. And if you could, you have to buy four cameras, two GoPros, very expensive Mac computers, screen. Adjustment layers, license for editing software, it's a lot. So please subscribe. See you soon. See you on the next one.